Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and today I am in Marina del Rey, California, and I am at the Korea Conference 2024, catching up with Ashley. Uh, first off, Ashley, I just want to say welcome to the show. Adam, thank you. Good to see you. All right, man. So uh, for everybody at home, the conference is just starting. The boat hasn't even pushed off yet. I snagged Ashley. He was with Jim Wong. I'm like, man, come on, let's come be, come be my first victim. So what are you looking forward to today at the conference? Oh, this is my second time at this conference. First time on the one on the boat. So really looking forward to mingling with a lot of people. This format today seems to be a lot more uh, to allow for more interactive mm. conversation, which is great. So really looking forward to meeting people. And there's a really diverse group of investors, founders, Mm -hmm. you name it. So really looking forward to that. So talk a little bit about your company. You're a founder. Yeah, I am a founder. I'm a founder of Leap Analytics. We are a real estate fintech platform. Mm. We are enabling homeowners to access the wealth that is trapped in their homes. Mm. American homeowners have about $20 trillion of what is known as trapped With the T is in time. With a T. Go Go for it. (laughs) And so it's, uh, this, this is home equity that they've accrued over mm-hmm. the years by diligently paying down their mortgage, as most responsible homeowners in this country do. Mm-hmm. But because of uh, restrictions that banks have placed on the typical ways of accessing one's wealth that's tied to their home, mm-hmm. it's become incredibly difficult mm-hmm. for homeowners to access any wealth that's in their homes. And I'll give you some examples. Right now, in order to access the wealth in your home via the traditional means, which would be either a HELOC yeah. or by refinancing, Traditional banks require you to have a credit score of 760 or higher. Mm -hmm. Well, what that does is that precludes and disqualifies almost 50%. Almost one in two homeowners cannot access the wealth that's in their homes at a relative, at a good cost. So there's a new innovation in real estate called home equity investments Mm -hmm. or home equity agreements. And these are shared agreements between a homeowner and investor where the investor will give the homeowner a lump sum of cash. And in return, they get to own a sliver of the equity in that home mm. and also participate in the upside appreciation of that home. It's a very welcome solution for most homeowners because it comes with no monthly payments whatsoever. Mm. It's not debt, so therefore it does not appear on your credit report and it doesn't stop you from being able to go out and borrow if you have to. Yeah. Um, is the platform live or is it going live or can be? Yeah, so we will be going live in uh, Q3 by the end of Q- Q3 of this year. So we're several weeks away. Man, from how, how'd you get the idea originally? Like, how this how this come about? I'm, I'm a big fan of a founder story. Where'd this come from? You know, a lot of it has to do with my origin story. I mm-hmm. moved uh, to this country uh, from Zimbabwe. And when I moved here, I, at the age of 16, lived with my elderly aunt and uncle, mm-hmm. who at the time owned a beautiful home in the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. A few months after I got here, my uncle passed away. And that left Dang. my aunt on her own to... To kind of shoulder, you know, the the burden of managing all the expenses related to the household. Mm-hmm. Over time, my aunt couldn't uh, keep up with these expenses, and I remember uh, as a teenager being on the phone with the banks and trying to negotiate uh, slightly easier terms. Yeah. And even though her house was almost fully paid for, I remember repeatedly being told that there was nothing the bank could do. Mm. My aunt ultimately lost that house. Come on. And that's an experience that stuck with me. And fast forward uh, many years, I learned about this new innovation in real estate called home equity agreements. Mm. Immediately, a light bulb went off because I hawked me back to those days in Atlanta, Georgia. Mm-hmm. And it dawned on me that the the only way to make this available to underserved homeowners like my aunt, mm. and, what, and I'll define underserved shortly, is to do it in, in a tech-enabled way. Yeah. So I set out to build uh, a tech platform, which ideally will help Americans all over the country mm. to be able to access their wealth in their homes. Mm. What were you? Were you into tech originally or real estate? Like, what side of it was uh, you more so? A, a bit of both. I spent... <laughs> The majority of my uh, early years of my career working in fintech before the term was even coined. I worked on Wall Street, but within technology mm. groups. And then I decided to do something entrepreneurial I, and do something completely different where I founded a real estate cap intro firm. And what we did is we raised debt and equity capital mm. for real estate sponsors. So I do kind of have a hybrid. Of, yeah. Of so this was kind of like the best of both worlds for you, yeah? Yeah, it turned out yeah. that way. Yeah. Talk, talk to me about your like vision for scaling and like how you're going to bring this to market. Yeah, so we have, there are about a dozen companies in our space right now, mm-hmm. and the, all we, the, collectively, we're just not even putting a dent on, yeah, on the size of Of course, them. yeah. <laughs> so, it's at trillions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what we hope to do is to be able to scale in a really quick way, mm-hmm. but in also a very responsible way that kind of keeps in mind all the constituents. And mm-hmm. the three constituents in in this home equity space are, number one, the consumers mm-hmm. who need access to, to the wealth in their homes, but also investors, plenty of investors out yeah. there institutional investors are looking for access to uh, 
two home to residential to residential real estate here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. This is a great alternative to them because in, uh, when you look at it from a risk adjusted viewpoint, yeah. Owning the equity uh, of a home where a homeowner has a ton of equity on it, mm -hmm. a lot of cushion, is actually a better is a, the sharp ratio for sure. From that, is a, it's a much better proposition for for those mm -hmm. those investors. Mm -hmm. And then the third constituent is what we're doing is we're enabling real realtors and mortgage mm -hmm. brokers, real estate professionals, mm -hmm. to come in and participate in this huge asset class and this huge opportunity. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we enable them to be a kind of our sales force around the country. There are evangelists. Yeah, we train them, and in, in return, they can train their customers. Because when you really think about it, realtors and mortgage brokers, mm -hmm. they are the trusted advisors of any any uh, homeowner. For sure. And I have an issue with, with my home. The, one of the first phone calls I make is even to the realtor or my mortgage broker, mm. and that should not change. Yeah, I get it. And so looking at like the next phase of this, so let's say the, it's going to be online, Q3, you said, right? Yeah, yep. I got that right. It'll be on Q3. You're going to be training a lot of individuals in the space already to be advocates. We're entrepreneurs. A lot of entrepreneurs watch this show. Let's dream for a minute. In five years, where are we at? Like, let's dream for a minute. Come on, man. <laughs> Just that. Uh, I want. I want to look back and be like, man, we were at the Korea Conference 2024. You, what's going on? Man? <laughs> well, we uh, last year our industry. So the, yeah. the dozen companies that are in space collectively mm -hmm. originated over a billion dollars of uh, home equity investments. Mm -hmm. And that may sound like a big number, but it's actually uh, not even a drop in the water. Mm -hmm. And just to give you an example, in 2002, there were about a billion dollars of HELOCs originated. Yeah. By 2006, that number was up to a hundred billion. Mm -hmm. We think our, our industry is poised to do the same. What that means for Leap is I think we're in a position to be able to scale bet between now and say five years from now to generating revenue of uh, close to a hundred million. Man, that's what I'm talking about. I, li I like these big numbers. They make me feel good inside. Obviously, there's uh, a lot of caveats come with that, and, and of those, course, I'm not going. Away. I said this was the dream <laughs> part. I, I was, I was, I prefaced that in the question. This no, was the dream part. Well, Ashley, I know we got to get back to the conference, or you got to get back to the conference. I got. And that being said, last thing I want you to do: look into the camera, tell people how they can follow you, how they can learn more about the business and, and everything else. Absolutely. So they can visit us on our website. That's leaphea.com, and I'll spell that out: l-e-a-p-h-e-a.com. Once you visit our website, you'll find links to all of our other social media platforms. We're pretty active on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. Awesome. And uh, for everybody w listening, just so you know, we'll put the website link in the show notes so that you can just click on it and head right on over. And speaking of the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and you haven't hit that subscribe or follow button yet, hey, I'm telling you, hit that button. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're putting out new content. We're bringing on new guests and hopefully helping with new inspiration to help you along the way on your journey as well. So again, hit that subscribe or follow button and we'll see you tomorrow.